Impress, understanding formatting. Formatting is easy and sort of fun because you get to resize content placeholders, objects, create tables, and resize their columns and rows. You can also fool around with your text a bit to make them more presentable to the audience, such as making text bold, italic, underlining it, adding a shadow to it, or even using fun font styles from the font work gallery. So let's get started. First, we're going to add another slide. So I'll click on the new slide drop down arrow to create a slide with the title and six content placeholders, like this. Next, I'll give the slide a title. We're going to call it Christmas Treats. Now, it just so happens that I have six different pictures in the Images folder that are already ready to drop in here. See all these pictures of Christmas food from Christmas food one through six? These are the ones. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on one of them to drop it in the first placeholder. There. Now let's go do another one. Christmas food two. Now you can see that this is a bit time consuming. Since I'm going to show you how to resize these anyway, I might as well not use the content placeholders and show you how to insert pictures without them. I'm going to go ahead and just click on each of these pictures that I added to select them and then hit delete. That one's gone and boom, that one's gone. Now I'm going to choose the title only layout for this slide so that we don't have content placeholders. There. Now for the fun part, open up your documents folder and then navigate to the images folder in the student media files. And you'll see I've got them aligned as a list here so you can see them all in a row, Christmas food one through Christmas food six. I'm gonna just click on the first one here to select it and then hold my shift button down while clicking on the last one. There, now they're all selected. Now all I have to do is drag them into the slide like so. Okay, they're in the slide, but they're also all jumbled up. There's two things we can do to them at this point. Move them around and resize them. If you move your arrow anywhere onto a picture, it'll come up with a little cross arrow thing, which means you can drag it anywhere onto the slide to reposition it like so. But notice the little grab pointers on the four corners of the picture there. If you move your mouse over one of them, you'll end up with a diagonal arrow, which indicates that you can resize it at this grab point. I'm just going to go ahead and resize these and reposition these pictures around. I'll take this one, make it small, put it over here, click on that one, make it smaller, and stick it over here at the top. Take this one, grab the placeholder, put it over here, and make this one smaller. It's kind of covered up. So I have to grab it and then resize it and then drag it up. And then last but not least, these two here. There. Now we can just position them around so that they make some sort of a nice collage like so. There. Now notice that some parts of these are covered by other pictures. Like this picture here is covered by this one on this corner. So what we can do is we can right click on this and go to the arrange. Now I have many choices here. I can bring it to the front, bring it forward, send it backwards, send it to the back, etc. The difference between bringing to front and bringing forward is simply that if you have a stack of things on top of one another, bringing it to the front brings it completely to the front, whereas bringing forward just brings it one picture closer to the front. I know it's a bit confusing, so we'll just use bring to front. Now notice that popped the corner up in front of this other picture. Now the title is already up here, Christmas Treats. I want to change it to Christmas Desserts, because I think that sounds better. So let me change it to desserts. Let's take a moment to look at some basic text formatting. Up here at the top of the screen, we have 
several formatting options. This area here is the font type and font size area. Click the down arrow to select a something different. For example, I decided my title would look better if I use the Sergo print font. Now, your computer may not have that one, but that's okay. There's plenty of them to play with. Here's the Sergo print font. There, I like the look of that. Now, before you can do anything else, you've got to make sure that your text is highlighted. I didn't have my text highlighted a minute ago, so the fonts didn't even show up. Now, I think 44.7 is a little bit too big for this font. I'm going to change it to 36. There, that's a little better. Now, if you look to the right of the font size, you've got four additional icons here. Bold, italic, underline, and shadow. While this is highlighted, I'll go ahead and select each of these so that you can see what they look like. Bold makes it thicker. There's italic. That's underline. And that applies a shadow. I don't like the italic on there, so I'm going to make one small adjustment by getting rid of that. Then I'll click off of it and look at it. There. That looks pretty good. Now, I'm almost done with this slide. I want to do two more things. I want to move the title to the left to allow me some room to place a nice font work on the right that says delicious. Now, if you click on the title text, you'll see this outline area here. That's the font content placeholder. But you're not done. You have to click on the placeholder border to allow you to resize or move it around like this. Now I've got the grab handles, and I can resize it and move it. So let's resize the placeholder because we don't need it that big. And then I will move it up a little bit and over to the left, like so. There. Now for the font work. You see this little icon down here that looks like a picture hanging on the wall with a letter A in front of it? Let's click on it. All these font work styles are here to help you add pizzazz to your slide. I've decided I like this yellow one down here. So I'm going to choose it, click on it, and click OK. Now, of course, I don't want it to say font work. But that's okay. If you click on it once and double click on it, I'll see this little black wording here. This is where I can change how it looks. I'm going to change the word font work to delicious with an exclamation point. Now if I click off of it, it will change it for me. Now I'm free to resize it how I wish. And I can move it up here in the top right corner where I wanted it. It's still a little too big though. Let me change the size there. There. Now that slide looks beautiful and delicious. Now I'll save my work and it's your turn now.